Hello and welcome back to Shadi no Kuni. After wasting a couple of days with... I don't even know what, the days just went over my head and it seems like I couldn't grasp any kind of time. Anyway, I'm back now and I know we are at a decision and I made the decision finally, more or less. I mean, it's, it's just a gut feeling I'm going to do. So yeah. Let's just head void into this with my many, many save states I've already gathered together. And yeah, so if I remember correctly, can I even... Yes, I can. So let's see. It is, if I remember correctly, it's only half an hour time before it's 17 o'clock. And she knows how the field looks. She went there every freaking day and... Just to look over it for a few minutes, I don't know. On the other I mean, she is... I think she's determined to do it now. So to force even more pressure on her by exhausting her unnecessarily by going out now uh, would be a bad call. So I say we wait until tomorrow, I guess. It would be nice. I know we have only 10 days, 5 days, if we consider that she is, uh, that she only has 12 hours per day. And if we even half that for sleep, it's not even 5 days, but 2 and a half days. So I don't know how she will manage to draw a whole picture in within 2 and a half or 5 days if she doesn't sleep. But I hope she does, she can save mana and... Uh, on the other hand, I'm a lazy bum, so we'll start this, if I would just head into it and start the day, very day I decided to do it, I should, I don't know. And I thought I had it all figured out, but apparently I did not. So what am I doing now? We'll wait until tomorrow. That was the decision I made before I started the recording. I'm just now going to consider this, but... Let's see, if we can save mana, then I stick with this. If mana is going to be sold away as a sex slave, then I will probably rewind time and do it over. So, we'll wait until tomorrow. Dot dot dot. Although I guess it would be best to wait until tomorrow. Said she was tired, and we wouldn't have been able to get much done in 30 minutes anyway. Yes, I remembered it correctly. 30 minutes, that's nothing. We need almost the, we need almost the, the whole 30 minutes to get there, and then she can glance over it for a few minutes. Why unnecessarily ex exhaust her stamina like that? It was a hard day, and a lot of things happened, so... Oh, she, she, she needs the rest right now. I had been a bit over eager. Yes, you are. Ah, fine. Well, rest up to we'll rest up today and start tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. You don't look so determined anymore. What happened? Yeah, I guess I'll start tomorrow. What do you mean by I guess? I will. I want to I want you to say I will start tomorrow, not I guess. Maybe someday I will start. Oh god, only 2 days left. No, you will. Not I guess, you will start. <sighs> she rubbed her sleepy eyes and crawled into bed. Tomorrow was going to be rough. We are still in chapter Two or is it chapter one? Don't know. A beautiful scenery sky stretched out before us. The hissing of the Kikaras drifted in all the way from the mountain. Drifted in all the way from the mountains. Man, it's officially midsummer now, ain't it, Onecha? Why do you call her Onecha? Oh no, don't tell me you, don't tell me you took her on your back while she was stopped and dragged her out in the sunflower field. <laughs> oh god. 
Shatsi started squirming around on my back. Still half asleep? We at the sunflower field, doofus. Why? D did I fall asleep here? Don't worry, I made sure you slept in your bed. Then why am I here? Because you have to draw the scenery to save Mana from being a sex slave. Because the time it took to get here would be wasted, yeah? Okay, I can take that. But did you bring the painting material with you? Uh, I see. She seemed surprised at how things had been moving. In other words, Kenichi is my free of charge exclusive driver? Ain't that just peachy? I don't really get that one. Well, it does make things easier for me. She looked downward and took a deep breath. Alright, today I'm gonna give it my all at full power! Like I pro seems to do it because I'm... For some reason, before I started this, I was all like... Now I'm all like overexcited. Oh, I don't even know why. I really should just force start me and then it will just turn out like this. That I'm full of energy all of a sudden. Whatever. Wait, what? Damn, I really need to mess with my PC to wake up in the mornings. Sorry, but the only actions left available to you are eating, painting, and stopping. <laughs> what are you? Some kind of demonic coach? Special high-class individuals are far more frightening than demons. Oh, please. You are still just a cadet. Well, then help me out here. We are Bill. Rehabilitating you is the first part of my exam, you know? Alright, I'll do my best just for you, Kenichi. What I don't understand, that, that thing came me, I think, yesterday. Um, she had the money to rid herself of her obligation. So, if she would have used the money to get her rid of the obligation... She would have had 24 hours, and then she still had 10 days to... She still had full 10 days to do the painting to get the money from Kenichi. Oh, is th so why didn't they do it like that? Kenichi gives, will give her the money to... Um, give her the money for the painting to save mana, and at the same time, before she even starts painting, these rid of her obligation and can actually, um, can actually, ugh, can actually use more hours of her day to, to do the amazing painting. On the other hand, I think Kenji had to think, had to think about, has to think, think about, um, if he isn't the one who rehabilitates her by doing something, I guess it wouldn't count for him and he wouldn't get any benefit out of it that he gives her the money to get rid of, uh, to prevent Mana becoming a sex slave. So, <sighs> this is a little bit, this is a little bit conflicting for the sole reason that... It feels like Kenichi just didn't want her to get rid of the obligation before, so he could pass his test. So it it feels a little bit selfish that they didn't do it to first get her rid of the obligation and then do all this stuff here now. I don't know, what do you think about it? I mean, it, it is a little bit weird, isn't it? Hmm. Anyway... 
It's just my thoughts about it, why they didn't it do that way, so she has no obligation, has a full time at her disposal to save her, and Kenichi is attached to Mana, so he would do it anyway, so why didn't they do that? Th thanks. My heart skipped a beat there. I made breakfast! Mana went up to us. Good work! She had bought us a basket containing breakfast. I was wondering about that anyway. From now on, Mana is going to make you your food and Kenichi is going to carry you, right? Mana smiled at me. Yeah, we decided that yesterday, right <laughs> Wait, what? Kenichi, you are acting pretty creepy. Shut up! Hurry and finish eating so you can paint. I... Um, okay. Oh yeah, one more thing. From 7am to 7pm, you will have three total hours of break time. This will include sleep. Three so basically, shower takes about. Wait. That's a little bit weird. I mean, she needs about half an hour to get to her house. Then she needs about half an hour to bathe. One hour to sleep. Those are two hours. Half an hour to come back, eat, and. Okay. But. But if you don't have, uh, th there, there are uh, several phases of sleep, and there's there's the nap sleeping that only lasts for about half an hour, and the deep sleep phase. And only in the deep sleep phase you are truly recovering energy. So it's a little bit weird. How can someone live like that, only sleeping for one, one or maybe even two hours per day? I think they they would really go crazy if they don't get into a deep sleep phase or a longer sleeping phase that is. Or am I getting that wrong? Can you actually sleep for an hour, do something for a few hours, sleep an hour, do something for a few hours and continue on like that? Would be interesting. Maybe I should do it sometime. I mean, I have enough time at my disposal. Um Anyway, Wait, did I already read this? Three hours. Has so I have to sleep, eat, and bathe during that time. I think I did. Sound fair. You get to work on the painting for nine hours. It's pretty much the same as your average workday. Logically, yeah. <laughs> People really love wasting time nowadays. Kenichi, aren't you acting just a bit full of yourself? I mean, I know you're the president of your own company and all, but... Well, yeah, I'm an overconfident bastard who just so happens to be filthy witch. Would anyone expect me to not be full of myself? Oh jeez, were you an only child? In fact, no, he had a sister who did naughty things to him. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? Yeah, what's wrong? Yeah, I was. Liar. I felt like lying. You, you obviously did lying. Or did lie, whatever. What? Alright, uh, sorry for the little jump cut here. <clears throat> Onichan and Mana were both only childs, but now we are not. Nee. <laughs> right? Nee. Right? Right. What? Dot dot dot. Dot dot. I wasn't really sure why, but it seemed that the word white was getting popular among the three of us. But why? Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Mana and I decided to watch over Sachi after finishing breakfast. Sachi had her arms crossed and was facing the canvas. 
Phew. Got that? Mana, you can go back home if you want. Uh huh. Ina. No, I'm fine. Yeah, it's pretty hot out here. Could get heat stroke or something. It's fun, so I'm staying. I see. If she really found silently watching Sachi from behind to be that interesting, then I guess I couldn't complain. Oh, that's a nice picture. I really like that one. I oh, she looks so focused. Sachi alternated between staring at her canvas and staring at the sunflowers. It looked like she was comparing the two. How's it going? As soon as I said that, shut the hell up! I'm concentrating here. Oh, something like that. Don't talk to me. She growled at me in a manner most unbefitting of an energetic type. Sorry. Da, da, da. She was really serious about this. Uh, duh! A life is on the line. Of course she's serious about this. A life of a loved one is on the line. I couldn't believe that someone as easygoing as Hachi could put on such an air of determination. Oh, I get the Undertale vibes again. This was proving to be quite promising indeed. Looked like I needed to just sit back and enjoy the show. A few days later. No? Okay. Sachi, it's almost noon. I called out to her. Dot, dot, dot. She gave no response at all. Oh, oh, dot, dot, dot. She had been sitting in the exact same position all morning. Don't tell me that she had been sleeping. Hey, it's lunchtime. Dot, dot, dot. Sleeping had been pretty idiotic assumption to make. Sleeping had been a pretty idi idiotic assumption to make. Hey, Sachi, it's lunchtime. Dot, dot, dot. She was paying absolutely no attention to the outside world. Uh, hey? Now what? Yeah. Huh? Hmm? Deno? Ne? Ine? Uh, what was that? I Deno? He said I'm fine! Ah, s sorry. I saluted her and fled the scene. <laughs> How did it go? This is bad. It's not Sachi. Energetic and money grubbing Mitsuhiro Sachi is dead. Oh. I explained the situation, drenched in sweat. If she is not Onechan, then who is she? I don't know, but let's call her Great Master for now. Onechan is great master? What's a great master? Someone who's amazing. Yeah, Mana's sister is amazing. But man, I was seriously surprised. Was she scary? Yeah. I felt like anything that touched her would get destroyed. <laughs> oh man, I didn't give enough emphasis on the I'm fine. It's cool, right? Yeah, destruction and suffering is all right. Mm -hmm. No, it's not really cool, but... Right. Oh, of course. Wait, how the heck is that cool? See? Kakui? Mana's sister is cool. Mana would stick by her sister to the bitter end. Well, in any case, it looks like Sachi won't be joining us for lunch. I opened up the basket that Mana had bought. Mana-chan won't eat if Onei-chan isn't eating. Oh, that's just childish. Hey now, don't do something silly like that. But I'd feel bad for her. 
Feeling sorry for her won't do you any good. Humans gotta eat when they gotta eat, regardless of anyone else. No! She blew a raspberry at me and turned around. You are disobeying me? But just watching her, Kenichi, or Nichan is the one having a hard time, it wouldn't be fair if we had fun. Shut up! I'm witch, you know. I can have fun if I want to. Even which people will use up all of their money if they just play around? Stop trying to pretend that you know anything about being witch. When I have money, I want to buy books that I can use to study. When you have money, you just want to spend it. You run out of it fast that way. Taking mana lightly was not a good idea. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Wow. <laughs> Fine then, I'll eat all by myself. I snorted and removed the lunchbox from the basket. <laughs> what? That's good, you need to eat. Mana gave me a big grin. Oh, great. What a great kid muttered to myself. It's not that I don't feel bad for you and Sachi, but I'm sorry, a man's gotta eat. Don't worry about it. Another smile. What a carefree kid. I withdrew my hand from the lunchbox. No, that simply won't do. I need to show that I possess nearly the slightest trace of mercy. The surgeon always has to play the bad guy. That's right, I'm gonna eat all I want and blow smoke right in Sachi's face. Remember? Kenichi, why do you always talk to yourself like that? Uh -huh. Me, because I'm lonely. Kenichi, because he is... I don't know. I suppose it would seem a bit unnatural to an outside observer. I die from loneliness if I don't talk. Oh god, that's so true that I... <laughs> ah, self-consciousness. And I'll talk with you all you want. Yet another smile. You've got some guts showing a shadow being like me a sunshiny smile like that. God, I'm getting kind of pissed. I'd like to violate that filthy sisterly affection of yours. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh-oh. Violate? What's violate? I violate? I mean... Yes. Mm? Never mind. It's too embarrassing to say. Is it something naughty? Kill? How did you know? It's usually what it means when your face gets all wet like that. What swiftness of wit! This kid's a freaking prophet! But I don't really understand much about what naughty stuff is. I let out a sigh of relief. Not knowing is a good thing, in fact. It'd be pretty scary if you did know. Wait, what? It's where you go, huh, huh, right? What? What? 
You go, huh, huh, don't you? Mana, let's postpone this conversation until you are a bit older. D did she really meant what I think she meant? Uh, all right then. Mana and I continued our silly conversation until the sun went down. The dying sun barely peeked out above the horizon. Crows squawked all around us. Sachi continued her measured comparisons between the canvas and the sunflowers. Every once in a while, she'd move her pencil across the canvas. Nichan sure is amazing. It's our great master for you. She ended up not taking a single break. She's been sitting there in the exact same position for the entire day. I have to admire her concentration. Wouldn't it be better for her to take a break? Mana looked up at me with anxiety spread across her face. Across her face, I mean. Yeah, it'd be best for her to take at least one break before seven worlds around. Hey, Sachi. I'm sorry to disturb you, but... but... How about taking a break? You should at least take a nap before this starts wearing on you. Before this starts wearing on you. Dot dot. Oh, the music changed. It's getting dramatic. Hey. <laughs> no good. Hmm? <laughs> this isn't good at all. This just won't do. Uh huh? Uh oh. Sachi whipped the paper off of her canvas and crumbled it up into a ball in one fell swoop. What? She sat on that almost 12 hours straight and now she crumbles it? Uh, uh, hey! Dot dot dot. Are you wasting materials? Not only materials, but the whole time she worked on it. Dot dot dot. Didn't have to throw it away. Dot dot. Sachi just stared at her feet. To be frank, I had no idea what to say. Hey, Chan, is it finished? Uh oh. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a bit of um, of a mistake. Thought I'd start over. Messed up? Are you not at your best yet? I'm sorry. My perception is a little off or something. Why are you apologizing? You want to see it as soon as possible, don't you? I didn't make any progress today. Don't overwork yourself. You were really cool, Nei-chan. So, so. But really? Yep. A great master. Indeed. I chimed in once I saw that Sachi had regained her composure. Do you have it in you to continue? You've technically already been at this for nine hours now. I'll stop for today. I'm getting a little irritated. I'm sure you realize this, but I'd just like to repeat that we do not have much time. I know. 
You may have spent the day mulling over something, but from my perspective, you've yet to produce any results. I said I know! She was pissed off. Of course she is. Or was. At least it meant that she had realized that she couldn't go on like this. I would look forward to a magnificent comeback tomorrow. Should we get going? Mana went into the kitchen and started dinner as soon as we got home. Such she was in a foul mood. Am I going to be surrounded by sunflowers again when I wake up? Yeah, simple, right? So, you are going to be forcing me to paint? You don't want to? I'm not in a position to refuse. Then keep at it. You look pretty cool doing it. But the only thing I've used so far are pencils. Man, you are pretty nervous. Is this really the Sachi I know? If I'm not Sachi, then who am I? You were so pissed off that I thought you were Oni. <laughs> Monita Kenichi should just die! <laughs> that was pretty good! Sachi had finally loosened up a little bit. Uh, so freaking tired. I think I used up a year's worth of concentration. I was getting nervous just looking at you. It was quite the spectacle. Seriously? Was I exuding an aura or something? Definitely. I saw a dragon. <laughs> Amazing, huh? How do you like this new side of me? Scary? It's marvelous. Remember, you can do anything if you just put your mind to it. Ah, Oji-san used to say that to me too. Who was Oji-san again? Was this the name he had before? His real name? Yeah, he said it to me too. Oh, the father of him, of course. But in my case, I really couldn't do it if I just put my mind to, to it. I think there's something wrong, but whatever. What's wrong? Hmm? You made a weird face. Oh, that's just the incredible handsome face I was born with. Ha ha ha! You start showing what you're thinking about in your face whenever the topic turns to sex or oh, Oji-san. It's because I'm seriously not good with dealing with sex sexual stuff. And wouldn't you expect a high-class individual to react a bit strongly to the mention of Higuchi Saburo, one of history's greatest criminals? Really? Is that really the only reason? What the hell? Get your face away from me! <laughs> She's sniffing his face! <laughs> Don't sniff me! Could you be... One of Oji-san's illegitimate children? Uh -huh. I thought she had me for a second there. <laughs> Oji-san was really popular with the ladies. You could call him the president of pimps. So, so I've heard. But it doesn't seem that he actually had that many children. Just Ken and his sister Ririko, was it? Yeah, those two are no longer with us, though. So, they are gone? Well, that's what they say. 
So which is it? Hell if I know. From an official standpoint though, their records have been erased. I see. She arched an eyebrow at me. You know... Oh. How can two words be so long in Japanese? You know... Yeah? At one point, I thought you might be Ken. She had told me that before. There's no way that could be though, could it? <laughs> oh god, my false laughing is so bad most of the time. At least if I have to do it as a girlish voice. Which I can't do anyway. Wait, did he had surgery on his face? Your faces are completely different. Well, Ken's face was beautiful, but more than that, the overall feeling I get from your face is different. Of course, we are different people. Don't confuse me with that shitty piece of trash. Oh god. You, you don't have to get so mad. Ah, crap. Uh, well, anyway, you should get to sleep. Good ready. Mana came in carrying plates. Good timing. Today's meal is quite extravagant. Look, it's even got your favorite cockroaches. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't make me out to be some sort of weird girl who eats bugs. There's no cockroaches in there. I think they're pretty good myself, though. My second favorite after sweets, maybe? Gross. I've only seen cockroaches on TV. I see. I guess there aren't any in such a hick town. What a shame. Gross. Kimoi. Gross. Supper continued while the other two looked on at me with disdain. I wonder why. I'm finished. <sighs> Okay, time to sleep after eating and then get fed. What? You're pretty lively. Lively? Lively? I don't know how to pronounce that. Lively. Lively? Lively? Liv lively? Maybe totally different? Lively. I think lively. Or lively? Lively. Whatever. Mana, I'm gonna take a bath. Mana pattered off into the bathroom. I'm gonna hit the hay. Wake me at seven. Will you be able to get by with only two hours of sleep a day? Mm, usually get three or four, so I suppose it's a bit harsh. I see. I'm surprised you can be so energetic with only that much sleep. You get used to it. You don't sleep much either, do you? Well, I am still young. Do you think I can be considered the same age as everyone else, even though I'm only living half of their time? Of course. It's kind of unfair, isn't it? Well, that's what an obligation is never fair. That's the kind of obligation it is. If you don't like it, then hurry up and get rid of it. Will my obligation be cancelled after I complete this painting? That depends on you. The point behind this activity is to learn the importance of time. As long as I can be assured that you will not waste your time in the future, 
I'll pass along a report to the higher ups. There was a possibility that they would reject it, but if pops were involved, I could probably rest assured. Although, to that end, I needed to ensure that Pops was satisfied with the situation. He hadn't given me any major criticisms yet, so I probably hadn't made any significant mistakes with my guidance. Though I got the feeling that all I had been doing was living with her. There hadn't been any guidance per se to speak of. This wasn't good. I'd become a laughingstock if this kept up. Wait, what? He, he told this all in a muttering sound? He was mumbling all that stuff? Kenichi, you should probably fix that habit of muttering in front of people. Huh? I said that out loud? I couldn't hear exactly what you said, though. Let's go all out tomorrow. Eh? Ah, I got it. I'll be painting all day. Then hurry up and get to sleep. Mm. Yeah, good night. But before that... She seemed a bit unsettled. Ah, do you want a good night kiss? <laughs> yep, yeah, definitely a good night kiss. Hey, Kenichi. Sachi started staring at me pointedly all of a sudden. Am I doing a good job? Well, you destroyed your first painting without me even letting me look at it, but I guess? Yeah, come on, I've told you this tons of times already. You were so serious that I didn't even think it was you. Did you fall in love with me all over again? It's kind of hard to do at this point, don't you think? I haven't exactly been going out for that long. I'm just asking if you've gotten to love me even more. Well, yeah. Like Mana said, I think you are at your best when you are painting. I sounded like a kid. See, I knew it. Then, how about a kiss as a reward? What? How embarrassing. Are you serious? You already grinded her really good. And you are still embarrassed about a little kiss? Come on. Please. Don't let her plead. I mean, come on. You, you already did... All the naughty stuff with her, so kiss couldn't be too much to ask for, right? Or am I the weird one here? Well, probably I am muttering to myself and making voices up and feel like those are real people, even though I know it's not, so who am I to talk? Why was she fawning over me like that? Like this, I mean. Alright, our lips slowly approached each other, and then Mana comes in and interrupts the moment. I was so embarrassed that I didn't really grasp what I was doing. But oh, look at her face! Oh, she's so happy about that! Oh, it's just sweet. <laughs> oh, it's just... This is sweet. Those little moments are the greatest. But she seemed happy, so it was fine by me. Thanks. Good night. Sachi went to bed. I decided to go have a smoke and then do some exercise. My shoulder was still messed up and all. I needed to keep my body working properly. Phew, relaxing. My smoke drifted along with the summer breeze. Oh yeah, he's smoking weed every day. And if I would be some for editing, I would really 
play the song and smoke weed every day, which you can see on every fucking YouTube video nowadays. Ah, <laughs> maybe that's why I even get that. You are still awake? Oh, I was just thinking about something. Hmm? Are you sweaty? Yep, been doing a bit of muscle training is all. I should do that too. Oh, you do look strong. Of course, I am strong. I can kill any cockroach in one blow, no matter how big it is. Oh, teach Mana special technique. I can't do that. You are just not suited for violence. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Maybe some other time. As I looked at Mana, I thought, I have the money. I have enough to save her if I take out all of my savings. You are putting all of your savings on the line? Maybe it'd be better to just pay the money now and get it over with. Instead of making Sachi paint a picture for me to buy. The worst case scenario in this situation would be having the king raise his price even further. I doubt we'd be able to prepare some rivaling that which the leader of an entire country could prepare. Just 10 days, huh? Until then it's all about whether or not Sachi puts effort toward her rehabilitation. Raising? Why did why did he raise the price in the first place? What are you talking about? And uh, what are you thinking about? I mean, about how lucky we are to have so much time. Mana shook her head. Onechan doesn't really show any weakness, right? Right. Kenichi wa onechan wo mitteru hito nan desho? You are the person that looks after her, aren't you? Yep, I'm the guy who has to make sure she takes her medicine and who assists her on the path of freedom. That's not exactly what Mana meant. Do yattara onechan wa jiyu ni nareru no? What does she have to do to become free? She has to become an upstanding human being. I had said it myself, but I didn't really understand what the word upstanding was supposed to mean. Yeah, it's a pretty vague term. For me, normal criminals are not upstanding humans, but everyone who's not bothering her. Well, it's a hard theme to discuss, I guess. So, Nichan just has to be cool or something? Oh, I guess. Something like that. Then, that means painting would be would definitely be the best thing for her. I think so too. I'll do anything if it's for Nichan's freedom. Then let's cheer her on together. Mana, I'll do my best and make meals for her every day. I'll take care of all your expenses until she finishes her painting. Arigato! Thanks. Don't get me wrong, I'm just lending you a little money as a friend. Sachi's gotta pay me back when she gets rich. Don't worry, Onichan will definitely be witch someday. Well, yeah, she is the great master. She had been a little out of it today, but I was certain that she would make some progress tomorrow. Alright, tomorrow we are gonna give it our all at full power! Bye! <laughs> we exulted beneath the starry sky. Dreaming together of a future where Sachi had her freedom. Isn't that nice?
That's definitely. Okay, I think this is a good... Yeah, this is a good place to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Leave a like if you did. Share this playlist with your friends. And I will hopefully see you, which is the most important thing, in the next episode. Stay tuned.